Pollen. This No, no, Pollen. Whatever, I can't deal. It's embarrassing. Does that go on every night? No. No, it doesn't go on every night. I'd call you a douchebag, but that's offensive to every douchebag I've ever met. Hi, guys. My name is John Taffer. For the next five days, you work for me. Fixing bars is easy. Fixing people is tough. You guys are pouring drinks that people are complaining about. You're serving food that people can't eat. And she's sinking because of it. Your smirk is going to bury you. You think it's funny that she's in debt $900,000? No, it's not funny at all. That's good to Neither hear. Neither is a grown man yelling at the top of his lungs at people who aren't children. Well, you're dressed like a six-year-old child. I wouldn't talk about that. So when you opened this bar, what was the deal with your brother? The deal was, you know, he was going to run it. He's going to be the nuts and bolts guy. You know, I was going to help with the, the business end. How'd that work out? Well, it's not working out good. That's why you're here. How much money you got in this place? About 300000 300000 How much money does he have in it? None. So uh, your brother it does, it doesn't respect your money, or he's an idiot? I think he respects my money, and I don't think he's an idiot. So is he lazy? No, absolutely not. So, really? So did you change this oil? Look at the color of these, Chef. Is that right? No. So, look at that oil. Can any of this be right with that oil? No. So all of it is freaking wrong. That's disrespectful, man. You did as disrespectful to your customers. I'm, I'm trying to do what I can do. You're going to get I'm, somebody I'm, I'm, sick. I'm one guy in here trying to do what I can do. So are you they're a saying, wimp? Saying, are you an idiot? Saying, are you lazy? They're saying I'm too what hard. exactly I'm are you? I'm too hard on these people. I'm trying to do the best I can do, the best I know how to do. And yeah, we're up tonight. So the best you can do sucks. Well said. You're the manager here? Yes, sir. I sent four people in here to spy tonight. They were sitting over there till you jumped up on top of the DJ booth, standing above them. So they left to get away from you. This is your manager. He sits up on the bar. I've never seen that in 30 years. It's my friend. You're taking a hit for his party. He's the big shot on your money. You ever feel like a chump? Because right now you look like one. I can change. You can change? Yep, 100%. I'll go all in. All in. I've heard you use that term all night. You're full of <laughs> man. I got you busted right from the beginning. Rocky, how much were the comps on him tonight? 150. And what were the total sales? 664, that's including their comps. So we did 500 in sales, 150 in comps for him. James is taking advantage of Brandon, and Brandon's letting him do it. He sits on a bar stool like a wimp. That's why he's losing his money. You want to party and be a big shot? Do it on your own money, not his. I will you. prove myself to you. I, I'd That's like to my see goal. I would like prove to myself see it. to you. Get your alcohol breath out of my face and prove it to me tomorrow, OK? Because I don't really want to smell you right now. So you're going to stop being a dirty slut? John Taffer said I had saggy boobs. You do! John Taffer doesn't know what the he's talking about. My tits stand up like the American yeah, flag. Look, she's doing it already. Oh, my goodness. I'm not even out of there a minute. Do you not understand you need his help? Do you want to lose your house? He made me sound old and disgusting. But you, you are. are. I'm you not old to, and disgusting. You need to shut the up and take the goddamn help. I don't talk to you crazy, but if you don't shut the up, you Did take you the help. You're not moving in with me. Act like a adult. You're drunk. Let it go. Oh, Y'all need to go back to work. I asked you not oh. to show or move your boobs. Oh. Within one minute oh. of walking out of here, you were standing there like this. If your chest is more important to you than your wallet, you're an idiot. Do you get that? Your mother has a sickness. If you can't expose yourself, you have no reason to live. Understand, if she does this one time, I will leave here and I will not come back. Your mother is in debt $140,000. She's going to be living where when she loses her house? With me, and I can't deal with that stress. You're going to blow this, move in with your daughter who doesn't want you. Isn't that an ass? That's kind of cruel, but yes. If it's truthful, then it's not cruel. 
Say it again. Is that a mother who's an ass? Yes, Mr. Taffer, I'm a ass. You like it? Yes, thank you very much. Doesn't bother me, because you're the ass. You see, I'm an ass when I want to be. You're an ass all the time. That's the difference. I act like one. You are one. OK, then help me. Change me. Help me the out of debt. You help me. Don't ask me to show me, show you how. You told me you will help me right now. So show me. Don't tell me how are you going to help me. First of all, me? don't tell me not to anything. You don't say to me. Anything, I do what I want. And your job is to say, yes, sir, Mr. Taffer, and I'll save your ass. But I won't save your tits. They're long gone. You get that? <laughs>